Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Welcome, and thank you for coming back. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Cancer, this is a general reading, so we're going to take the energies as they can, they come. It could be love. It could be work, career, finance. Uh, whatever the situation is, whatever needs to come out will come out. So it will be the messages most needed for the collective. This is a general collective reading, not a personal reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. So please only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not fitting, it's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. And only take the parts that resonate for you. It could be past, present, or future. So let's see what we have for you, Cancer. Welcome, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So if you're new to my channel and um, not sure how this works, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we'll get a sign, element, or planet. See how that plays into your reading. You may or may not resonate with that part. Totally fine. And that was this deck here. We'll pull one for an opening message. We'll pull another for your energy. And then we'll clarify the energy with the tarot, whatever it may be, whatever comes out, take it as it comes. Clarify that energy. We'll look at your situation, um, advice, guidance, possible outcome. And I go over the bottoms of the decks and look at extra messages with this deck. So let's see what we have for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the general collective. At this time, the most important messages for Cancer, please, Spirit, thank you so much. Let's get a sign, element, or planet for Cancer. And everything you need to know, Cancer, is down below in the description box. Tons of information down there. Please do go check it out. If you're new and you like how I read, check out my channel. Like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you get about four readings a month, sometimes five. All right, Cancer. And if you do, thank you. Cancer, Cancer. I'm feeling that one. Let's see. We have Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, which I don't have to be. And Gemini does represent the lovers in the major arcana in the tarot. So this could be talking about a soulmate. A soulmate can be anybody. It can be, you know, a lover, a friend, a family member, uh, a co-worker, somebody that you really see eye to eye with and you just get each other, that you vibe with. Some of you could actually be your twin if you actually have a birth twin you know, a soulmate doesn't have to be um, a lover in that sense. could be anybody, but we'll see how that plays in if you're not dealing with a Gemini. You're going to have Gemini in your chart somewhere. That's totally fine, too. It could be your moon sign, your rising sign. So keep that in mind also. Gemini does represent uh, Mercury, um, the planet of Mercury, which is all about truth, clarity, communication, everything to do with the mind. So we'll see how this plays into your reading. So this deck here, decks are listed below also if you're interested in that. Um, let's get an opening message for you, Cancer, at this time. The message is most needed for Cancer, please, Spirit, for the General Collective. What is the opening message for Cancer? I'm feeling that one. So we have Dragonfly, and we have number seven, 27, which is 9. And 9s are about... Um, coming to a completion of something or a cycle. And this is air energy. So I'm just going to read um, a little in the book because I don't use this deck enough. So um, sometimes I forget what these cards mean. But we have number 27, unexpected guidance, surprising grace, transcendence, ascendance. So... You may be going through a difficult time right now and transcending from one difficult time and transcending into something better. You may be getting unexpected uh, guidance or help from somebody. Um, feeling very grateful for that also. Hmm, okay. And I'm seeing the um, cat there. Could be uh, a Leo around you in some way, shape, or form or a fire sign. All right, so let's get, you know, and I did say Gemini can represent, um, does represent Mercury. Mercury, Mercury is all about the truth, the clarity, communication. So that could be that, you know, the mind. So that could be that guidance coming in some way, shape or form, helping you to shed light and clarity on a situation. All right, so let's get one more for your energy and then we'll get into the tarot for Cancer Collective, that one. We have the bluebird. So we have more air coming in here. And now we have 33. 
which threes are, you know, double number. Threes are about teamwork, collaboration, compromise. It's a social energy. Um, but yeah, that together, that's healing and balance. So we got more air here about communication. And I do believe the bluebirds here could be about news, good luck, messages coming in. So let's take a little, just want to take a little look here at, um, see what that has to say. Optimism and hope, happiness and idealism. So somebody or something could be through divine guidance from somebody around you that helps you see something with truth and clarity that gives you optimism and hope on some sort of happiness for your future or, or a situation. It's like the ideal situation. You're hoping for an ideal situation for some of you and you're not sure, you're uncertain, or you need advice, guidance. And somebody is either going to bring you good news about this. I mean, it could be anything. I mean, you, you could have found your ideal home. So it could be about an ideal job um, or something here. I don't know. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have salmon here, which is 14, which is five. So water energy here. So, you know, five is about challenge and change. So something could be a challenge. You're, you could be hoping for a change, but there's a challenge or a challenging time. And salmon, I do believe that's about abundance. And that does remind me of Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces in some way, shape, or form, but don't have to be. So magic, intuition, and wisdom is salmon. So needing to listen to your um, intuition here. So we're going to get into the tarot. Wisdom. So that could be, you know, that wise guidance coming from somebody. All right. So let's dig into this energy for cancer. For cancer spirit, please. It could be, you know, it could be something spiritual, needing, you know, advice, guidance on a spiritual path. Um, you know, learning how to trust your intuition, connecting to that in, you know, the you know, spiritual energy. Or if it's not that, some sort of situation here where you just need, you know, like advice and guidance to see something clearly. And it could be about an ideal, like I said, ideal situation or a situation you're going through. But let's see here. What is going on? But I feel like with the birds there, again, it's usually about news. And when I see the fish, you know, fish always represent abundance. So something here could bring you great abundance. So maybe you're, you know, awaiting on news from something that could bring you great abundance and you're not quite sure, you know, what's going to happen here. Maybe you're asking others who went through the same thing or are going through the same thing or went through the same thing you went through. Um, you know, what happened in your situation? You know, what can I expect? So you have a little bit of peace of mind until some sort of news comes in here. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Yeah, five of wands. So this is about conflict, competition, inner conflict. This is the after tarot. So, you know, if there was conflict here, it's getting resolved. So some sort of conflict will be getting resolved. And now we have the four of swords. So this is thinking, contemplation kind of energy. And you see this person is like offering to the other. So somebody here offering you that wise guidance, which puts some peace of mind about whatever conflict you had or um, had. All right, so what else here? So here's the message, here's the communication. Eight of Wands, travel, action, communication. So it could be a surprise or epiphany, aha moment, awakening, uh, a shock, a change, a sudden change. So I feel like you're awaiting something here, news or turn of events or something um, here. And you know what's coming and you know it has to happen, but you're unsure like exactly what's going to happen. So you're getting advice, guidance for people that, you know, went through the same thing or something similar. 
And then all of a sudden, quickly, it comes in. And, you, you know, you're expecting it, but still, when it comes in, it's still unexpected. Like, wow, I didn't think that was going to happen. Or, you know, it's still like the wow factor, even though you knew it was coming. It's still a shock, a surprise here. So what else? What else here? So now we have the King of Wands, which can be Sagittarius energy. So it's that fiery, passionate go-getter, entrepreneur, um, entrepreneur, creative kind of energy. It could be about something with work or working with others in some way, shape, or form with the Three of Pentacles energy. Because that is about teamwork, collaboration. And I think I had said that with, um, did I say that? We have 18. No, we have 28 up there. 27. That's nine. I thought I had three. Oh, yeah, right here, 33. Which is about teamwork, collaboration. So here it is right here. And we have another three. So patiently waiting for, and there's the bird again with the news. So patiently waiting for some sort of news to come in. And again, it could have been, it could be about money, work, or working with someone or someone around your work. Waiting on, because this person looks like they're waiting, waiting, but it's coming. You know it's coming. And then you get the final truth and clarity that you need with the Ace of Swords. So that's the um, brand new beginning. That's victorious. That's having that a big epiphany, the aha moment, the big realization. Um, what you've been waiting for is now here. And now you definitely know the facts. You know your answer. You know exactly with clarity what's going on. So I think um, for some reason, it could have been something you've never been through before. And you're just like, geez, I just don't know what's going to happen here. So even though you're expecting the outcome, you're expecting the answer, you're expecting something to come in. Um, and you kind of know what's going to happen because you asked others, but it still is like a big shift, a surprise change when it does come in. But then you finally have your peace of mind with the Ace of Swords. So whatever you're patiently waiting for is going to come in suddenly, even though you're expecting it, which is still going to be a big surprise epiphany for you. I mean, this could be anything. It could be, you know, buying a new home. It could be a new job. It could be, um... It could be anything here. All right, so let's see. I don't see if we get your actual situation. This is like all your energy already. So let's see uh, if we can get what your actual situation is. So that comes out. Any clarity on that? Or Cancer, please. What is this all about? So we have the chariot energy. So that is your energy. So, so far we have uh, Aries. Sagittarius. And now we have your energy cancer. So this is victoriously moving forward. Moving. So you could be moving because this is about movement. Balance. Being victorious. Having drive ambition. So we do have the lovers here, which is Gemini. And there's that Gemini coming in here. Maybe you've been waiting <laughs> for Gemini to ask you to move in with them. I don't know. Or move... Uh, to wherever they are or something like that. Or maybe you're wanting to move to be closer to a lover. I, I don't know. Different scenarios here. Uh, but the lovers doesn't have to be a lover-lover. It can be making a conscious choice, which is best suited for you. So there's something about a conscious choice here and about moving. So let's see. What else here for you, Cancer? What are we moving on to? What are we making a conscious choice that is best suited for you? And moving on. So we're moving on to something. Ooh, the devil. Even moving on or moving away from <laughs> toxic energy. The lovers and the devil. This, this is like um, an intense connection between two. Wow, okay, so what else is going on here? Nine of Pentacles, but then becoming single. This is a single energy, being abundant, single in your own right. For some of you, you could have been attached to a person for a really long time, and maybe you've never really been single and on your own. 
and you're asking all your single friends, you know, what is it like being single? What is it like to be on your own? And you've never had to do that before. And you're scared. Maybe you're scared. That's where all that uh, inner conflict comes from. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get one more for Cancer. Five of Cups energy. So feeling sad and alone. I think you're worried about being sad and alone by yourself. You're not sure if you can be alone. So either something with a fire sign blew up and now you're going solo. Moving on with a chariot here. Could have been a very toxic like connection. Like it could have been very good with the lovers, but also very bad. Like a very um almost like obsessive um infatuation between two. And you're like, you know, it's too toxic. So even though there's love, there's a lot of passion, but there's still a lot of toxic energy. So you may be, you know, getting in your charity or moving on and becoming single. And I think you may be worried about uh, being single and on your own. Not sure. I don't think you ever were alone. Because, I mean, we have a lot of people here, here. We have three people here. I don't know what this... Um, Communication is coming in here, but uh, some sort of communication comes in to blow something up, maybe with the fire sign. Could have been a third party situation because we have two threes right here. You know, for some of you, maybe you knew, you know, your person may have been seeing somebody else and you were asking around. Um, to find out for sure and then somebody sends to you this news which blows this whole thing up and you finally see with truth and clarity but I see you rising above this and just going on your own and getting like your own peace of mind and just like moving on to a better place like I don't think it's really going to get you down too much because the dragonfly is a really good energy and the bluebirds and the salmon it's like you have better things coming for you, and I think you know that. So whether or not you were in a deep love, well, I mean, you see the lovers and the devil. So we definitely have a soulmate, but I think it was a karmic soulmate with a lot of negative energy attached to it. So let's see. Let's see what your advice is. Strength. Yeah, you are strong enough. Leo energy here. You are. So we have Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius. Uh, Aries, but you do have strength, determination, willpower, um, being courageous and brave. This is your advice. Taming the beast from within, <laughs> from this person. Queen of Wands. So we, I do see a King Queen of Wands, so it definitely was a match. So we have the Queen of Wands here, which can be um, Aries, again. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. A couple more. Justice, judgment. Wow. Some of you may actually may be getting divorced or doing what's moral, just, and right for you. Libra energy here, balancing out the scales. Making a judge, final judgment call, decision on this situation. Can't talk about forgiveness or resurrection of soulmates, but with justice and judgment, I feel like even though you felt this was a strong attachment, a strong soulmate energy is just too much too much toxic because the devil's right here in the middle too much too much toxic energy between two now you're doing what's right for you could be separation divorce or just cutting ties if it's just you know a long-term relationship and you're not married you could be you know making a final judgment call to sever these ties this you know ties accords with this person that's your advice wow we have three majors here, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Leo. It could be anybody, but I feel like whatever you mo you're moving on to, I think you've got better things coming. Um, all right, so what is the possible outcome for you, Cancer? Yeah, you're going to a better place. You're moving. I think you're physically going to be moving. Probably alone. 
because I do see you could have a child if not but I do see um, I mean there are three people there but this person is alone with their child so I mean you could have a child but you don't have to there's children here so maybe you're worried about being a single parent that could be uh, what worried you here and you're getting advice guidance from your single from your uh, friends that are single parents all right what else here yeah you're leaving that energy out in the out in the cold with the five of pentacles no more no more and just gonna concentrate on you work on yourself concentrating on you I think you're finally turning your back on this toxic, toxic connection and working on yourself in the future and going to a much, much better place. So, I mean, I did get the energy at the beginning that maybe you're waiting for good news, um, a resolution to a problem, but I do see abundance there, you know, being grateful. That is transcendence. So you could be transcending from this life that you've always known now to a new single life or single parent life and you know worried but i think you'll be fine let's get a couple more so this may not resonate for everybody so please keep that in mind so let's just get a couple more for the possible outcome here yeah going out with friends spending more time with friends family having a good time celebrating yeah you're finally free from this energy and moving on to something bigger better for you in the future with the ten of cups to your own personal happiness joy and fulfillment in some way shape or form yes yeah, slaying that dragon no more no more slaying that dragon with the nine of swords no more staying up at night about this energy you know again it was a soulmate you know you did feel like this was a soulmate but you had to think long and hard about this with the Hermit energy with uh, Virgo here. And with the King of Swords, King of Queen, doesn't matter. Taking that cord, a sword, putting it down and making a final judgment call as we had Libra with Justice, Scorpio with Judgment, and using that sword to cut ties. Seeing with truth and clarity, Epiphany. And, you know, being indecisive for a long time here, by the way, this could be Gemini. Uh, seeing, you know, not seeing things for what they were for a long time, then finally needing to make a decision to move on to something better, bigger, brighter, uh, working on yourself, building your firm foundation for the future for long-term abundance, which we had over here. Stability and growth. This could be new job opportunities coming in, uh, support, guidance of others. This could be the support and guidance of others, learning um financial um help also i feel like you have a potential to meet somebody bigger and better and brighter for you down the road in the future down the road because this is about crossroads so i think down the road in the future but for now you need to let something end just end 10 and death and transcend and transform and know your value and your worth with the empress energy so with the Empress here, we do have Libra and Taurus. We have Scorpio again. So I think you're doing what's best for you. Yes, you're nervous, you're scared about, for some of you being alone um, or being a single parent or something like that. But I think in the future, you have something bigger, better, brighter coming your way that could have um, long-term potential for happiness. All right, so, but for now, you know, working on yourself and doing what's best for you and spending more quality time with friends and family, co-workers, I mean, once we're all able to, you know, socialize again. All right, so, Cancer, let's get some closing messages for you, Cancer. And if you're moving, you know, you could find a better job, a better paying job. All right, so, Cancer get over yourself so we have one which is about a new beginning <laughs> you might just tell this person just get over yourself already so definitely could have been a soulmate twin flame energy but definitely uh 
having enough of that, I think you're setting yourself up here for um, a brand new beginning with one. So you may be telling this person, just get over yourself already. <laughs> or this could be you getting over your fears, um, doubts for the future. All right, so any more messages? Let's see. Reclaim your art. Seven, which is divinely guided spiritual number. So this is reclaiming who you are, uh, being true to you, your soul, what you want to do, what's best for you. Doesn't necessarily have to mean art, but it could for some. And fill the well. So you might have been constantly filling everybody else's well and not filling your own. So you can't give to others from an empty well. So this is telling you to take some time for you to work on yourself, to heal, to nourish, to refill your well so that when you give to others, you have something in there to give and not just an empty well. We have 25 to 7, again, divinely guided spiritual number. So on the bottom of the deck, put others first, 43, 7, again, wow. I feel like you've put others first your whole life. And now it's time for you to fill your own well, Cancer. Wow. To reclaim yourself, who you truly are, and being true to you. Okay, Cancer. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.